Motivation Monday conversation for today. And today we are talking about art, saved by art. I used to do art in secondary school. Actually, I did art in secondary school and in college, because in college I did graphic design. But how I ended up doing art, when I went to high school, I, did, I took woodwork. I love woodwork. I love the smell of wood. Mm, mm, mm. There's nothing like the smell of wood. So woodwork, did woodwork for almost a term. And then one day, a friend of mine who was doing art told me to take him to the art room of a lunch period to complete his project. art room, That was the last day I did woodwork. Immediately I changed and began doing art. But I didn't take it so seriously. But today's guest has taken art so seriously and he's using it to change the lives of others in his community. This morning we get to hang out with Adam Masava. Adam, yes. good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. It's good to have you in studio. Thank you. Thank Karibu you so sana. much. Asante. When did you start doing art? All right. So um, I remember I started doing art mm -hmm. while in primary school. Okay. So basically our school uh, used to be supported by Sisters of Mercy. Uh -huh. There's a very famous uh, sister uh -huh. called Sister Mary Klim. Uh -huh. from Ireland. Yes. She started a lot of projects in the slum to develop the slum okay. and also give education to young children. Okay. Which slum is this? Mukuru. Mukuru. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, she's been a very big pillar mm. and a very uh, integral part of the community. Okay. So through her, a lot of us got to get schooled. Mm -hmm. And uh, our school we used to have a very good art teacher. Mm -hmm. So this is, this, this, uh, I'm, ju I'm just going to get it in a nutshell. Okay. So one day, I mean, our art and craft teacher was a very, very, very tough teacher. Yeah. Well, you don't mess with them. Yes. <laughs> so as he was, uh, in, in, in those days, mm. uh, he, we didn't have uh, enough textbooks. Mm -hmm. So he would write the notes on the board, then we copy them. Yeah. Yeah. So he was doing that, and then, I saw him there writing, mm -hmm. and I started drawing him. Oh, you draw, you're drawing him writing? Yes. On the board? Yes. yes. And then I was carried away by the drawing. Mm. So then he, he I mean, uh, as I was carried away by the drawing, mm. I was doing some shades. Mm -hmm. Then he already was walking around the class. Yes. Looking at how the people were doing their yeah, their, writing their notes. Yes. Exactly. Then when I went up to look for more details, he was not there. I started scanning him, <laughs> nowhere to find him. He, he was, was right behind here, <laughs> yeah, looking at what I was doing. And he oh. said, young man, he tapped me and said, young man, I'm yeah. teaching and you're busy drawing. See me after the class. And you know what that means. That means he was one of the, the tough teachers. Yes. So he, to, uh, he told me to go with the book. Mm -hmm. I went to the staff room. Mm -hmm. And during those days, it was the days that... All teachers could beat you up. Yes. So I thought that was going. That was. What I was remember going those days. But it was tough from Jauriako. But yeah, exactly. Mm. But uh, uh, the teachers started praising me and saying, "This young man has talent. Look at what oh. he was doing." So he showed all the teachers, and even he offered me his cup of tea and bread. Really? And he asked me to join the art room, the wow. art club. And I went to the art room, and luckily during that time mm -hmm. there was a very famous competition mm -hmm. which was sponsored by please allow me to to mention this brand yeah kiwi yes so uh kiwi should bring back this i remember those art and i remember those art and crafts by yeah, kiwi. yeah i remember them yeah yeah uh -huh. uh, if kiwi guys are watching please bring it back. Your yeah, because that's what inspired me and gave me hope to become an artist mm -hmm. so i I started drawing mm -hmm. and did some few pictures for, mm -hmm. I mean, few paintings for Kiwi. Mm -hmm. And my first uh, competition, I won a bicycle. Really? Yeah. And the I, very first one? Yeah. And then I, I, I like, had three, three pieces. Uh -huh. So one of them won first prize, which was a bicycle. Uh -huh. Then I won a bag and a T-shirt. You won I didn't, three things? Yes. I didn't get to to get the bicycle, yeah. but I, di I couldn't care because I had a brand new t-shirt uh -huh. and a school bag. Bike, you all play copy? Bike, si <laughs> bike, <ni> kuliwa. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, I'm, I'm curious. Yeah. So does art come to you as a natural talent or is it something you had to learn? I think it was a natural talent, okay. but at the same time, mm -hmm. anyone can learn art. Art is one of the skill or one of the talents that you can acquire mm -hmm. because uh, I feel like 
every child has an inborn art talent. Mm -hmm. It just needs to sparkle out and yeah. get somebody to, to mentor them or yes. teach them. But also, if somebody, like I said, everybody has the inborn talent mm -hmm. in them. Because you see, our God is uh, created us as masterpieces. Yes. And we resemble God. Mm -hmm. And so we have the artistic touch in us. Very true. Yeah. So anyone can learn art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. As long as they have the interest. Mm. Yeah. So here you are, enter your first competition, you've won prizes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that inspire you to do more? Where do you move on from there? So the story gets more interesting mm -hmm. because now what really inspired me or what gave me hope to become an artist mm -hmm. was our school used to get fed by the World Food Program mm -hmm. and the USAID. Yes. So the World Food Program would give us sacks of uh, beans mm -hmm. and maize mm -hmm. and then the USAID would give us tins of uh, cooking oil. Uh -huh. So we we were we used to eat gideri. Yes. So they came up with daily. The daily. <laughs> Tigana and I we put avocado in yeah. a, a curry powder yes. or beef cubes. Yes. Roiko. Yes. <laughs> it was naran. When we cook gideri, my kids say to na kula mbegu. Okay. Yeah. So um, they start. They came up with a competition mm -hmm. for uh, children. Mm. Uh, all the, the projects that or all the programs that were benefiting from this program, mm -hmm. they came up with a competition mm -hmm. for kids to like show or draw what World Food Program means to them. Uh -huh. So I, I, I painted, I remember very well, I painted like a huge truck uh -huh. because I used to watch the, the war, the, the um, Vietnam War. Mm -hmm. There was these big trucks mm -hmm. that would transfer the, the militaries. To yes. the, yeah. So I painted one of those mm -hmm. full of uh, sacks. Mm -hmm. And then um, there was a school on the horizon mm -hmm. in a semi-arid area. Mm -hmm. And then uh, on the tent, I put a very big logo of World Food Program. Yeah. And on the door, the logo of USAID. Uh -huh. And then children were running after the truck. And uh -huh. Then far behind, there was an old one trying to catch up. Yes. So after, um, I remember one morning, at the assembly, mm. the head teacher called us, I mean, the head teacher like called my name, like, Adam Masawa, please mm. come forward. Mm. And then, you know, I was a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> and when they call you at the assembly. Yeah. yeah. Kuna kitu ulifanya. Yes. So, I went and uh, she asked the whole school to clap for me. And then, okay. we had like uh, around a thousand students yes. in the school. Yes. You can here the, the their clap. Yes. Oh man, it was like a rain, big uh -huh. rain. Yes. I, w I felt really happy and I was like, why? Then she said, Adam's artwork has won number one position in Africa. What? Then they said it has gone to the world competition. So let's wish him all the best. After two months, again I was called in the assembly. Uh -huh. I tried to hide because yes. that Friday I had done something wrong. Oh. And then I thought I was in trouble. Yes. She had scanned and knew the position I was. Yes. So she pointed, Adam, stop hiding, come Down. here. So I went, and then again, clap for Adam. What's up? Uh, your artwork has won number one in the world competition. Are you for real? Yeah. What class were you in? I think I was in class five. What? Yeah. How did God you feel? Great. How I felt, did you feel? I felt the whole world. Yeah. And our school won a lot of food stuff. Mm -hmm. Because of that? Yeah. And that day, I remember, we ate really good. Yeah. Really well. I'm like, like very good. Uh -uh. <laughs> Rice, <laughs> minced meat, cabbage, potato, wow. carrots. Alafu, um, I had like a group of friends. When you saw a bodyguard. Yes. Ushaku was sonku. Yeah. <laughs> so, access to the kitchen was direct access. Yes. Nangia, there was a table which had a lot of plates for us. Mm -hmm. We used to call them lima. Mm. We take like two plates. Unashikanisha in a mountain. Yeah. What, what did your parents say about art? Well, uh, my parents were really happy. Yeah. Uh, because they could see talent in me. Mm -hmm. And they were really, really happy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I remember when I finished uh, primary school, mm -hmm. After getting my result, yes, I took it to my dad. I had not done very well, and mm -hmm. I had not done really bad, Badly. so I yeah. was average. Well, 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 well. And uh, I thought they would definitely send me to high school. So my dad said, "Ah, this is good. 
Now you can go find a job and also support the family. Because my dad used to work as a, my mom used to work as a house help uh -huh. in Nairobi West. Yes. And my dad used to go to uh, factories in the solaria area yeah. and sit outside, wait because if yeah. they need handymen yes. to, to get in. So that time I was so depressed. Uh -huh. every, every friend of mine were going to school. Yes. And everyone else was in, um, the others went to boarding schools, mm -hmm. to high school. Mm -hmm. So I was left alone with young children in the slum and women. Mm -hmm. So I just stayed at home very depressed watching the cat I knew all the Cartoon Network characters. Yes. Drawing them. Then one day I, I thought like, why, why, why should I keep staying in the house mm -hmm. while I can do something? Mm -hmm. So I went out. There was a place where they used to dump um, the rejected newspaper. Yeah. So I went there just to, to look for things to go and draw. Mm -hmm. And then they started throwing there also some old um, or rejected paint. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I started collecting this paint. Yes. Like if it's white, I put I, I collect a lot of uh, tins of with white. Yeah. Then I put them in one tin. Yes. So I collected a lot of these colors. Yeah. Then I went back to the slum mm -hmm. and started doing some sign writings. Mm -hmm. Then I started earning some ma some money. Okay. Which I would definitely bring home. Like per day, I would earn like two hundred, one hundred, three hundred. The best day, five hundred. Mm -hmm. Then my dad was like really proud of me and yes. really happy. Yes. And he was like, yeah, thank you. At least we, we are now like eating well. Mm. By that time, I didn't understand the reason. But mm. now when I grew up, I understood that sometimes he didn't have job. Yeah. And my mom like used to work for from morning till evening mm. for just 2,500. A month? A month. Wow. So after I, I grew up, then I noticed like yeah. we were really, really in... Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so one day, my friend uh, was who we uh, went together in the same school. Mm -hmm. Monga, shout out to you. Mm -hmm. He found me doing the sign writing. Yeah. And told me, how much are you getting paid? I said, it was a very big wall. Yeah. He said, I told him 500. He said, you're wasting time here. Uh -huh. Come tomorrow, I'll show you where you can earn more for uh -huh. less work. Uh -huh. I was like, okay. So the next morning at 8 o'clock we met, mm -hmm. we went together to the, uh, there was a place now, the same, same sister mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. was helping the community started yes. another project that would develop talents like soccer, music, art. Yeah. Um, it was called MSDP, mm -hmm. Mkuru Slum Development Project. Yes. So he introduced me there and there was an old sister, God rest her soul in peace, mm -hmm. Sister Lori. Uh, she... She was very sweet. Mm -hmm. She welcomed me with a very big heart. She was like, oh, Adam, welcome. This is our art room. Yes. Sit here. Please do some work. By that time, yeah. they were doing paper mache stuff. Like mm -hmm. They had big trays. Some were rectangle and some were in the circle circular. shape. Yeah. yeah, circular. Circular, sorry. And they <coughs> you take some Vaseline, mm -hmm. put on the tray, mm -hmm. then take some strips of newspaper with glue mm -hmm. and stick them, then let them dry. After that... They form that shape. Mm -hmm. Then you coat it with white, then yes. paint. So I painted a couple of um, very nice sunsets. Yeah. And then the same same time when I finished, there were some guests uh -huh. from Europe. Yes. And she took them to the office and came back. She gave me 7K. Both. 7K, I was like, what? You know, she was old. Yeah. So I thought maybe... She Maybe doesn't know to buy. Yeah. Yeah. So I went back to her and said, I think you've given me much more. She said, how much is that? I said, seven. She said, yeah, it's all your money. Spend it nicely. I said, wow, thank you. Wow. I, I went home. Yes. That evening, I called my grandma and mom. I gave them the cash. Yeah. All they of counted. Them. Yeah, they counted it and yeah. started beating me up. Karibu wani uwe. Kwanini? They thought I had joined a criminal ah! gang. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So in those days, Nizile days, and, uh, police were shooting young people yes. who were in, in uh, criminal gangs. Uh -huh. And they were telling me every day, like, we don't want to see you with bad groups, yes. bad companies. Yes. So they thought I had joined one of those. And they said, instead of police killing you, let us this kill you ourselves. Yeah. And I was like, this money, I got it. In a legit way. Yes. In a very honest way. 
and uh, I told my mom, please, 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 cease fire. Yeah. Tomorrow morning, I'll take you where I got this money. Yes. If my story doesn't check, you can kill me. So they said, okay. They <laughs> reggae kapozio. <laughs> <laughs> what does BSC do pose up? Okay. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're hanging out <laughs> with Adam. He's sharing his story with us. Brilliant artist. He's come with some of the pieces he has done. I mean, it's amazing work. It is really, really good art. If you're the kind of person who appreciates art, you will love his work. It, it, there's a, there's a, there's a painting here. Uh, I don't know if the, the cameraman can, can actually uh, zoom it. You're on it, eh? <laughs> you know, I, I look at that painting, and for me, it's not just a painting. I'm curious to know the story, because it looks like there's a story behind this painting. Mm -hmm. It's so captivating. What is the padlock doing there and the key? Is it part of the painting? And you're wondering, okay, so what is this all about? Maybe he will tell us. If you have any questions for him, maybe you do art and you've been thinking, can I actually survive on this art? And you have questions for Adam today. Send them in right now. 20316 is the SMS line. WhatsApp number is 786 316 -316. This morning is about art. I was waiting for you, John Gidanga, to say something. John Gidanga is uh, uh, one of... The people who listens to this show, he's based in Nakuru. He's also an artist. Uh, yeah, he, he is an artist. He's he does some good work as well. Yeah. Uh, John Kidanga, you say quite an inspirational story indeed. This artist and I are birds of the same feather. And I can relate to some of the experiences he has had because I'm a veteran artist myself. The Bible says your gift will make a way for you to stand before great men. Kudos, my brother. Asante sana. Someone else is saying the artist in studio. Uko social media? Mm. Okay, to our party handles by die. Yeah. We also joined on set this morning by Brian Kimani. Brian, yeah, Poor, poor. How are you doing? I'm doing great. You're also How an artist. I'm also an artist. Yeah. But I'm uh, artist doing you on a penda Madrid. Why you go? It's the the dreadlocks. It's a it's the, the struggle of, yeah. uh, of being different. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Me, my senior, he's a kataga. My wife has, has my my wife has got dreads and uh -huh. my, my daughter. Me kanyele mazeka na kataaga. Tuka kipara kana kam. Like this hour too. Yes, ni buana, buana asifuwe. Before we 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 hear from Brian, I'm very curious. Mm -hmm. So, at what point do you say this art uh, changed your life? Because from where we are, from from my notification story, mm. you're still a young chap. You know, you're just discovering, oh, I can actually earn money from this. You began helping your family. Yeah. What would you say was your turning point that took you to another level? All right. My turning point mm. was uh, my younger brother, mm -hmm. Patrick Oboya, mm -hmm. who is a very talented footballer. Yes. Uh, signed a professional contract in a Czech club mm -hmm. in the uh, first league. So when he signed the, his professional contract he came back mm -hmm. to get his uh, work permit and uh, visa yes. long term visa yeah so he i i painted like a small thank you card mm -hmm. for the club president mm -hmm. he took it the president was so in love with it they called me and oh. said we want you to come to check to do an exhibition the president of the club in check yes okay and um i i was like i felt ex Static, like yes. is this happening? And I went there. Uh -huh. They had a home game. They paid for your air flight, everything, accommodation, everything. everything. Yeah. Okay. Um, I went there, uh -huh. and uh, my brother's team had a home game. Mm -hmm. So my brother was sitting on the bench, and they were losing 2-0. Mm -hmm. So he was introduced, I think, in the 60th minute, mm -hmm. and he scored two goals Both. in quick succession. Yes. And then he assisted two goals. They won 4-2. Then I started seeing my name on the screens. Really? And they were, I asked somebody, said they are advertising your exhibition like right after the, 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 game. the game. Yeah. So within an hour, uh -huh. I had sold all the paintings I had. How many paintings did you have? I can't remember, but it was like more than 40 pieces. What? Zikaisha? Mapema is best. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. I was given a lot of cash. So, niki niki flight, How will I spend all this cash? Yes. And uh, mina shukuru mungu sana, discipline to lelewa nayo. Yes. Our parents were very strict. No yeah. drugs, no alcohol, no nothing. Yes. So I was like thinking. I said, let me go back and start like uh, doing something for my community. Mm -hmm. Like let me start teaching children. 
So I started coming up with a budget of what I will need mm -hmm. inside the plane, yeah. coming back home. Yeah. So after a week, Merudi changed some cash, bought a lot of art supplies, mm -hmm. started uh, uh, teaching children okay. every Saturday. Wow. So through your project, I think that was God's calling for me mm -hmm. to give back mm -hmm. and lift others. Some of the kids I started working with mm -hmm. in 2008, right now, were caught in their early 20s, mm -hmm. and they are now earning a living out of art. They have paid their high school fees. Yes. They are now supporting their families. Wow. They are now paying high school fees for their younger siblings. Yeah. And I see myself in them. It's a, like a mirror re yeah. reflection. Yeah. And I'm really happy that they sell their work just this weekend, uh -huh. first weekend, mm -hmm. Saturday. Mm -hmm. We had a very good exhibition mm -hmm. at a church next to the German embassy. Yeah. And we sold quite a lot of art. Mm -hmm. And I was really happy. Brian sold some. Mm -hmm. I was really happy to see my students flourishing mm -hmm. and people praising their work, people saying good things about their work. And, you know, not just people, but white people from Europe. Yes. That was very, very nice. And okay. This year we've dominated a lot of exhibitions, wow. a lot of art competitions we've been winning. Uh -huh. This year some of our young kids won uh, some um, scholarships mm -hmm. in a Jubilee competition, mm -hmm. Jubilee insurance competition. Yes. They won in the Toyota Dreamcart contest. Wow. One of them even became a best finalist this year in the world contest in Japan Oh, in the same competition. So I'm really grateful to God Yes, uh, because my turning point developed into something yes. to give back to, to, the, give community. Back to the community. Yeah. So Brian, how, how did you connect with uh, Adam? Uh, art for me was, uh, was something I wanted to do mm -hmm. for, for the longest time. Okay. So I used to look uh, at the graffiti in the Matatos, which is yes. typical with a lot of artists yes. in Kenya. It inspires a lot of them. Yeah. But uh, I used to do it expressively. It never used to hit me that I would one day like earn from it. Uh -huh. So um, I used to sketch just to get my mind off things because mm -hmm. uh, I studied in a really, really hard place in the heart of Mukuru Slam. Okay. So to get my mind off the struggle and off uh, what I was going through at the time, mm. I used to like do it as therapy. Mm -hmm. So I used to write what I was feeling, mostly, mostly in words and vivid, vivid images. Yeah. So I, I started to to sketch a lot and I had a lot of me time just maybe sometimes locked in my room and sometimes mm -hmm. maybe hanging out with the friends or out in the park or something. So one friend came to came to my house and mm -hmm. he saw one of it was actually like a book like one of the physics books from high school. Mm -hmm. I had just finished high school. So in the back of it I had made a lot of sketches of, yeah. uh, of what I was feeling like the expressive words and stuff. Mm. So it's, he saw it and was like wow I think you, I know a place where this can be can be made better. Mm -hmm. and I was, at first, I was really skeptical. Like I thought, like he was lying or something. Mm. Then he told me, "No, I'm actually being serious. I know a place where you can uh, you can like uh, better this skill of yours." Mm -hmm. And I agreed. So we went there, and uh, it's kind of a school, mm -hmm. I would say. But uh, after some time there. My experience wasn't really nice because okay. they, the school were experiencing, I think, uh, some sort of internal issues with the art department. Mm -hmm. So I never really got what I was looking for. Okay. But I was really persistent in the, in the struggle of making my art better. Mm -hmm. So I went looking. And uh, one day I ran into this article mm -hmm. where Adam Masava was, was, uh, oh. was featured okay. with the collective. And uh, I saw he was working with a lot of kids and mm -hmm. they founded with the whole in 2010 and I was really impressed by the, their story. Mm. What hit me, it was they were, they, were, they were situated in the place where I live, very, very, very close. Yeah. So I was like, how do these people do what I love and I don't know and who you they don't are. Know about them. I don't know where they are. Yeah. I was like, wow, I really, really need to find these guys. So I, I went looking in shopping, the shopping center South Beef mm -hmm. and they, they didn't, uh, most of the guys didn't know about it. Mm. And so I went to this teacher, like the teacher of the school that I was in and mm -hmm. he actually linked me to the, he showed me the direction of, uh, of where the place was, like the physical location. Yeah. I went there, I was really impressed. I, look, I looked at the walls and I was really, I was, I was kind of scared, I think, uh -huh. because the art was too good, way out of my level. It uh -huh. was done by mostly kids of uh, under the age of 18, most of them. I remember there was this kid, that time he was in Form 2 and he was doing like gallery. 
wow. gallery standard art. And I was like, wow, this guy is way younger than me and he's mm -hmm. doing way, way greater work than mine. I was like, there's no way I'm going to match these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to go and come back. Yeah. So I went, I, I, I remember it was around April of 2019. Mm -hmm. I went back to my, to my usual, my studio at the time, my yeah. house. Yeah. I made a makeshift easel with some wood that I found somewhere in the street. Mm -hmm. And I made like a board and I started sketching, like mm -hmm. start looking at videos on YouTube. So I made some amateur sketches. If mm -hmm. I look at them now, I think they're amateur sketches, but back then they were like Picasso. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I was like feeling myself at the time. I think it gave me confidence. At that time, Adam was doing an exhibition in the United States. Uh -huh. And now when hey, the students... <laughs> I don't stay to China. So next time you go, I'll come and carry your bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty famous. So now when I, when they told me that Adam was in, was in the U.S., mm. it actually got me more scared because now I have a guy to impress who is doing mm. exhibitions in the U.S. Internationally. Now th this is a high, very, very high caliber artist. So I was like, well, I really, really need to nail this. Yeah. So I made, I com compiled a lot of sketches, like a lot of still lives, different mediums, different sketches. Mm. And now, I was now feeling myself like, okay, now I can, I can go and like, well, I can, something I have show. something to show. Yeah. So I, 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 I passed by the studio, I met some of the students and the work actually that I saw the previous time had changed and they had better work oh on the walls. Goodness. And I was like, wow, now my work has been <laughs> degraded mm. again. So I didn't find Adam at the studio. But uh, I went and some guy told me he, would, he had gone to watch like a football match. Mm. And now he gave me the direction of the football pitch. And I went there to look for somebody I had never met before. Yeah. And now when I got in the, in the, in the field, that's when I realized how, how I'm doing like something stupid, like dumb. Why am I looking for someone that I have never met before? Mm -hmm. But my instinct was, was kind of like, I, if I see this guy, I'm going to know him. Mm -hmm. I didn't find him. Mm -hmm. So now I went back to the studio and I was kind of tired. I, asked, I, I went to the field and I didn't find Adam. And Adam was now like next to me. He told me, oh. hey, I'm Adam. Oh, <laughs> Boom. I was really, really scared. Like I had butterflies in my tummy and yeah. everything. And now I don't know where the composure came from. I just pulled up the wax in my, in my, in my, from my bag. Mm -hmm. And I showed him like what I've been doing. I told him I, I had tried to study, but it wasn't really going too well for me. Yeah. Because it wasn't like like I was paying. Or it, was, it was kind of like a program. Mm -hmm. The place that I was kind of a program that I wasn't really paying some money for. Okay. So he told me, hey, you, you can join us. Even if you want to, to start right now, just mm -hmm. take your sketch pad and start sketching. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is easier than I thought. Mm -hmm. Because I had expected like a big interview. A big grilling of some sort. Of why are you doing this? Like, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are not good enough. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's what I expected. Yeah. And Adam was really, really warm to me. And uh -huh. I, I felt like it was like a, a family. Okay. The, the, the connection that the guys in the, the chemistry that the artists in the studio have. Mm. I really felt that on a very okay. personal level. So have you, have you now grown to a place where you're also earning from your art? Yes, definitely. I, actually, this year, myself and Adam, we traveled to Austria, Germany. At and Adengo. When can I join Adengo. this school? <laughs> <laughs> Adengo, yeah. So for wow. me, so for me, three years later to be able to make such steps, yeah. Because three years is a short time, but it's a really short time. I think it's been God. So okay. for me to be able to like go internationally with my work, yeah. it's, it's a really big step that I'm really thankful about and I'm proud of. Yes. And uh, I'm 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 able now to like be stable through art, mm -hmm. which I had never imagined that would happen. Would be possible would be possible before and I'm actually a big brother of three like like Adam okay. so I'm a big brother of three three boys yes uh, I, I support their education and uh, I also support my mother wow and that so is just impressive the, yeah. before we run out of time yeah. me this woman has captivated me what's mm -hmm. the story behind this painting all right so right now mm. I'm working on a series called Milango uh -huh. for those who don't know Milango is a uh, door Doors, yes yeah. And um, I'm trying to show the struggles mm -hmm. of single mothers in slums, uh -huh. uh, what they do to like pay rent. Oh, yeah. So that's why you have a padlock yes. on it. Yes. So the padlock, the two padlocks, symbolizes the struggles of this lady. Yeah. And uh, the first padlock has a key, mm -hmm. so that means she can access the house. Yes. But the second padlock, mm. for those who have lived in slum, can easily relate to this. 
it's the landlord's the padlock. landlord's padlock. Yeah. Yes. So that means she has uh, some arrears. Oh. Yeah. So during COVID, this happened quite a lot. Yeah. To people living in slums because it was a very tough period for the yes. whole world, and uh, the heat was felt everywhere. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to show like those struggles mm -hmm. and also i'm trying to paint the uh, mama mboga mm -hmm. the ladies who sell bananas on the traffic jam yes the people who sell water and other stuff on traffic jam mm -hmm. and i interview them talk to them and try to get the, their story and do the their portrait on my pieces mm -hmm. then when i sell my pieces i always give some money back oh. to them to support their family or wow. support their businesses that is good. Yeah. That is good. Thank oh, you. The other painting behind you is one of a Boda Boda. So I'm assuming. Oh, that, that's, that's your work? Okay. And Duangu Thank you. Thank you. Thank Very you. nice. Thank you. So I'm assuming your work and, and, and uh, your concepts come from everyday life issues exactly. around you that you face. Yes. My inspiration comes from uh, everything I see around me. Uh -huh. And mostly I try to show positive. Yes. Uh, positivity of slum life yeah because normally slums are stereotyped yeah, but very true. slums slums have better stories to tell yes which are not highlighted very so true. as an artist who grew up in the slum i feel like i have a responsibility uh -huh. to show these stories yes like how peaceful people are mm -hmm. how religious they are mm -hmm. how hardworking they are mm -hmm. how children love going to school yes. how children are innovative how they share and play together and these all these stories mm -hmm come out really nicely like you see that painting has really fascinated it you. has it has it's a sad story but, but still shows still, hope yes show uh, tells a different dynamic mm. of uh, struggle and actually it's painted on a uh, mabati yeah. on real corrugated iron wow yeah let me ask you because we're almost out of time schools are closing mm -hmm. do you just do programs for for children in the slums or do you take children from all over the place because i know one of the things parents uh, look for in a season like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they have almost two months with their children. Yeah. So do you take children from all over to, to talk to, to teach art, mm. to interact with? And if you do, what's the process of doing that? All right. So our, uh, our art collective is called Mukuru Art Collective. Uh -huh. And uh, we don't only focus on slums, yeah. but also estates around mm -hmm. to bring these cultures together, yes. to bridge the gap. And through this sharing, through the sharing, uh, through their experiences of sharing through art, mm -hmm. they interact, become friends, yeah. and they learn from each other. True. And that's really important for kids mm -hmm. and young people. Okay. And uh, during school holidays, we have programs where we bring in kids mm -hmm. to learn. Mm. And uh, at the moment. We don't have space to do the program, mm. but uh, we are building a classroom on top of our uh, studio, uh -huh, okay. which we actually fundraise through selling our own work. Okay. We did some exhibitions before COVID, yeah. and uh, we want to build that structure okay. to be able to accommodate children yes. in a nice structured way. And uh, by next year, January or mm. February, mm. we'll start doing these programs. Mm -hmm. And we will, if, if parents are out there would like to reach us, yeah. they can go on to our Instagram page, mm -hmm. which is Mukuru Art Collective. Yes. Uh, DM us, we'll give them the program. Okay. Or uh, if they, do, they are not on Instagram, we have a Facebook page, mm -hmm. which is called Mukuru Art Club. Mm -hmm. They can also get in touch. Okay. Or alternatively, they can follow me mm. on Instagram at Adam Masava, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll be able to. I mean, we'll be glad to help where we can. Yeah. And uh, anyone who has any questions or mm. would like to follow for support, please do so. Maybe Brian can also give them their yeah. his Insta. Yeah. Yeah. Ans yeah. Handles. Yeah. My Instagram is uh, b r u h mm -hmm. underscore y o h mm -hmm. underscore kimani brio okay. kimani brio kimani. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Our time is up. I've got quite a number of people SMSing. Ted Muya, you also enjoy doing art since primary school. And you say, but I find I procrastinate and past opportunities. Also, I'm torn between art and music, but have no formal training on either. I'm wondering which I should start with. Get in touch with this gentleman. They will help you. They will help you find out what's, what's really good for you. Congratulations, Adam. I really love your story. I appreciate art. 
I have a son in arts pursuing 3D animations and digital design, which he really loves. I wish to advise parents to let their children pursue their passions. Asante Sana. Uh, Yusuf, you say great show. I have a friend whose son is talented in the same art. He's in Form 2. How do I help him join the team? A single, the mom is a single parent. Thank you. Get in touch with this gentleman on those handles they've given you for Facebook and for Instagram. I'm sure they will be able to point you in the right direction. Miracle, you say you have checked out Adam's art and it's legit. Oh, yes. It is truly legit. Okay. That's about Funga Studio. Our time is up. Thank you for being a part of Motivation Monday. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Remember, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get notified whenever we upload new fresh content every day. Stay tuned and enjoy fresh uplifting content. <laughs>